All right, well, we're gonna make the video live. Hey everyone, Mtash here. I'm streaming twitch.tv slash Mtash. Come check it out. Uh, I want to talk about Tenari. Uh, I already recorded this once and uh, I was wrong. I don't want to have to make a video that I'm wrong. This one is interesting. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the hop, there is so much that goes into uh, this new unit that you should not listen to me. You should not listen to anyone alone. You should listen to multiple different creators. Uh, if you want the nitty gritty details, listen to Theory Crafters because there are so many changes now that Dendro is in the mix. What is the ICD on Electro? You know, doing the quicken reaction with Dendro. Who works with it? Can you use Fischl, Raiden Shogun? Who can support him properly? There are so many things that go into this that if you just look at, you know, one clip and you see him do a bunch of damage, you're gonna go, ah, he's perfect. Also, if you do this test run, you're gonna be like, this guy sucks balls. Um, because most of his damage comes from their reactions. Um, it comes from the quicken reactions. It comes from using his uh, elemental mastery and being supported properly. And this isn't it. And so my first reaction playing with this, I was like, this guy's dog meat. <laughs> this guy's terrible. Uh, but after watching, you know, even just I win to lose this video, you can see the value. I'm going to skip this guy and I'm going to tell you why uh, by the end of the video. But let's just go over what he does. And I want to give you my thoughts. So number one. He has the slowest charge shot in the game. My gamer dudes, this thing is so slow, I can't believe it. And if uh, if this thing doesn't hit like a truck, oh boy, that is terrible. If you compare it to someone like Ganyu, who's doing massive damage, area of effect, applying that cryo, his charge shot needs to be godly. And, you know, one of the values of someone like Ganyu, if I'm looking at charge shot users, is I don't need my other abilities. I can just charge shot all day long and rip through the Spiral Abyss. With this guy, not the same. You're not going to be doing this 3.5 seconds to charge it up. I don't care how hard this hits. It takes too long to dish that out. I cannot imagine that's competitive. This guy is more quick swap. You get out the damage, maybe. You, you're applying different elements, I think, is the, the plan. Because with his E ability, you can see here, see those little charges there floating around me? These are actually quickened charge shots. Boom. 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 Very fast, very powerful. You can use those bad boys, and then hopefully you can use your burst, which is just a, a bunch of heat-seeking arrows kind of thing. It's actually a really uh, low amount of energy for that burst. It's only 40, so you don't need a ton of energy recharge, most likely. And if you're using someone like Raiden Shogun, maybe, uh, or even Fischl, getting a bunch of particles, then uh, you should be able to burst this thing very easily. Now, he's got an interesting kit. All right, we've got the charge shot. We saw the charge shot. His E ability is an AoE taunt. Uh, it, you know, it does some damage, nothing crazy on the multipliers. But it does give you that value of the charge shots. And so that opens doors for things like Wanderer's Troop, which I said before. Uh, getting this EM, which works with this passive, I'll show you in a minute. But EM, charge attacks, that is pretty nice. Is this the meta? Is this what you should do? I don't know. And it's going to depend on multiple things. This weapon is based on charge shots and uh, building a bunch of EM, Okay. But the Amos bow uh, would work as well, doing charge shots. I don't know the math, and I'm not even going to pretend to. But if you have the Amos bow, you've got a Wanderer set, I'm sure you can get him working. But boys, <laughs> this one's going over my head. I'm going to go by feel here. I'm going to give you my, my thoughts on, on, the, on how the character feels and the, the potential I see. I see the potential here with both weapons. That's awesome. You could build Dendro and get some value there, but he already gets Dendro through his kit. Um, and, and like his, uh, Ascension, he, he gets it. And so I don't know if you want to stack too, too much Dendro. Uh, if you can shred their resistances, that would be really valuable. But I just don't know if you need more Dendro damage, uh, because of this talent right here. Look at this thing. This is giving you EM. Beautiful. That's when you use your, um, your charge shot. You get a 50%, or not 50%, I wish, uh, a 50 Elemental Mastery bonus. But this one here, your charge shots and your burst ability gain a 0.06%, um, up to 60% of your Elemental Mastery. Not too bad. 
That's not too bad. Is the math on that, uh, you need a thousand EM to max this out? Am I dumb? I think I'm dumb, but I think that's right. Which is a lot of EM to have. Like, my, um, my Kazuha has, like, 938 or something like that. So you need a lot. You need a lot of EM to make this work, which scares me a little bit about your crit rate and your crit damage. Um, I don't think many people or anyone will be maxing this thing out. And, and, and you know, maybe, you know, Venti's EM bow? It, what's, the, what's the bow for Venti? Maybe that ends up being more damage in some situations. I don't know. Like, there's just too much here. I don't think I would enjoy building this guy because it feels like I need too many different stats for him to work the way I, I would want to. And if I'm hyper-investing into, um, like, the charge shots... I need those charge shots to be on the table all the time, and I don't feel like they are. I feel like they're on the table some of the time. And I know you can make that argument for Ganyu. It's like, well, you use her burst, you use your E ability, and, and I, I get that. But the vibe from this guy is using them, popping those abilities, getting those charge shots off, and then swapping over. And I just... I don't know. I, I like the way Ganyu's just got massive AoE hitting everything, just shredding. And, and here's the other thing. Here's the other thing I want to talk about is, again, I don't know all the damage numbers, and I'm sure he'll be good. But if I'm in a room with multiple enemies, right? I've got like 10 enemies in this room, and I, char I shoot one charge shot into the middle with Ganyu, and I hit all those enemies. That is multiple hits of damage. And no, it might not burst down one enemy the way he can, right? He can maybe burst down one enemy in a way that she can't. And maybe he can shred a boss in a way that she can't. But she can also nuke 15 enemies at once. And you're getting all those damage hits. And like, he's going to be sitting here like, all right, I'm going to get one. All right. And now we're going to kill the next guy. And I just don't know um, if he can keep up in a lot of different scenarios in this game. Bosses, sure. And that's maybe his strength. You know, Yoimiya, you know, Yoimiya is more known as like a boss unit. Maybe he's more of a boss unit. But um, for me, I'm scared that he won't be um, anywhere close to as good as Ganyu. But again, I'd have to test them both out. I'm hoping that I can get an account and test them both out. But the other thing is, I don't think, even if he was better, I would get him. I think I'm skipping no matter what. And I'll tell you why. Because of this, feeling like absolute dog meat. It is so slow, I hate that. Imagine you're in the Spiral Abyss with those Abyss Lectors, and you're like, I'm going to shoot him. I just need a couple seconds. It knocks you up and kills you. All right, let's, let's dodge. Okay, we're moving, we're moving. All right, yeah, I'm set up, ready, and he knocks me up and I'm dead. <laughs> I, just, I just can't get over that. And this, okay, the E ability, speeding things up. If you're in this aimed mode, which I can do, feels pretty nice, feels pretty good. But if you, like myself, I hold down the mouse or hold down the button for my charge shots almost every time. I, I almost never go into the aimed mode. I don't know why. This feels so clunky to me. I just, going in and out and the camera, it's like, ugh, I'm going to get sick. I just don't like it. I don't know why. And then his burst ability, it, it's almost like, for me, again, gone you. It's like, I use the burst, I set it and forget it, I don't really think about it. There's no fun factor here, personally, that is uh, exciting. Um, for everything he can do, I'm very happy with my own gone you. And, you know, with hers... She gets some movement back, right? She pops that ability. He gets a little bit, but she kind of dashes like far away. And they both taunt. And there's so much similar gameplay here that unless he was absolutely the best character in the game, I would skip myself no matter what. But I have worries that between needing attack and crit rate and crit damage and EM and never being able to max this out, how good is he going to be? Is, is he going to bring anything to the table that... Is he going to bring anything to the table that I need? And that's not to say you should skip. This is, this is me. This is my impressions. 
I'm not clicking with this character, and I would rather wait for a different dendro, a dendro unit. You know, I'll, I'll build up some of the other ones, but this one for me is just not fun. It just isn't fun for me. And my worry is that they're going to do them dirty overall. Again, I haven't done the math on like all these charge shots and the scaling and everything, but you have to remember, he's going on the standard banner. And there's nothing to say that they can't make him really strong. I mean, there's four stars that are insanely strong, right? Um, but is he going to be like a Kaching? Or, or, or no, a better example, because I was testing it. Is it going to be like Diluc? Build him, support him well, give him some artifacts, give him a weapon. He'll do good. He'll kill everything in the game, but he's not going to be phenomenal. And that's okay. They don't all have to break the game and be a Ganyu or a Hu Tao or whatever, but it's hard for me to recommend a character where the, you get average, below average results. Um, and, you know, the fact that he is going to eventually be on this normal banner means that you could get it, but more importantly, if you're going for, you know, down the road, I think it's after 3.1, so it's a ways. But let's say you were going for Zhongli and you missed. You could get him. You could get Tanari instead. And so I think he's going to be cool. And, and I'll, if I get him, I'll build him. But I'm only getting him that way. I'm only going to get him from the 50-50s. Um, I, I just don't want to spend my Primo Gems on this guy right now. I've got enough to pity. I'm at pity. Like, I could press this button and get him. Uh, but I think that I would rather save for the Archon myself. I am going to gamble that he's not going to be the meta changer, the meta maker, but if you have the, the charge shot gear, if you've got a weapon for him, cool. But I don't know if I want to recommend you get him, and then you're hunting down the bow, and you get the Vortex Vanquisher. Like, oh, God, if you get the Vortex Vanquisher, or two of them... Brother, don't spend the money. Come on now. Don't do that to yourself. You can't do that to yourself. That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, if I'm missing something big here, let me know. Again, look for the tests. Look for all the, the information from different creators. But don't go based on the test run because it's a terrible test run. There's not enough reactions. There's not enough enemies to really show his strength off. And so uh, don't get baited by that. Because his numbers don't look good in it, but you need to support him properly. He can pop off. And, and those are my thoughts. Anyways, I'm going to end it right there. I'm going to upload it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much. I'll see you soon. Make sure to follow the stream, twitch.tv slash mtashed. And, uh, oh, one more little thing. Uh, I'm doing a creator clash. Oh, I'm super giant here. Uh, for energy drink, uh, if you guys want to get my shaker cup, my energy drink, if I sell more than this idiot over here, he's a good friend of mine, uh, I get a mini fridge, but I also get mini fridge to give out to you guys. I can do a draw or a raffle. It's a really cool looking mini fridge. If you're interested in an energy drink that I know you're going to love, check out the MTash Mango Splash or the Wicked Little Shaker here. Link is down below, uh, advanced.gg. Use code MTASH at checkout. Okay, that's it. Thanks again. See you later. Bye-bye.